Hello and welcome to an Edexcel IGCSE ICT past paper question. This is the 2020 paper. We are now up to question three. Ashan works in an office with a network. He uses his smartphone to make an online video call. Which one of these does Ashan need to do this? Is it one WP, WPA, WAP? A lot of pe people get confused over these W's and I'm thinking perhaps I need to make a video explaining what the difference is between the four. But to make an online video call, he needs the internet. The internet is a wide area network. So I'm going to check A. The answer is A. He needs a wide area network. Two, describe how latency affects the experience of the video call. High latency, right? High latency is a delay. So what's it going to do? It's going to make the voice out of sync with the actual video. I haven't written a lot for this. There's only two marks, but latency will mean that the voice is out of sync with the video as a delay. So it's that delay. You seeing someone speak, but what they're actually saying, the actual audio doesn't match what their lips are saying, which is incredibly annoying and gets really frustrating after a while. And that is caused by latency. So three, how can we reduce that latency? We can reduce it by wired connection. So we need to think of three ways. So uh, wired connectivity would be one surefire way to reduce it. Any blockages should be removed. So uh, for example, if it goes into a room and shuts the door, it maybe should open it to get a better signal. So any physical blockages should be removed. So the third point, I would reduce the amount of devices using the network. So remember we talked before in previous papers, we talked about bandwidth. If I've got lots of devices using my internet connection, then the bandwidth is going to decrease because everyone's using it. Uh, there's more people using more traffic. That's going to slow everything down. So reducing the amount of devices on the network is going to speed things up. B, state the role of an ISP. Nice and easy, this one. Internet service provider, what does it do? Provide access to the internet for you. An ISP provides access to the internet. Let's scroll down and look at C, state the function of a gateway. What does a gateway do? It simply connects two networks. That's what we're going to write for my answer. A gateway connects two networks, for example, a local area network to a wide area network, and that's kind of connecting your local area network to the internet. Scroll down again, D, describe two benefits of using the client server network. So this is that as opposed to the peer-to-peer. -peer. These are two types of models of the network. This is called a model of a network. This isn't a topology, Starbus, Ring, etc. This is a model and it's either going to be client server or peer-to-peer. -peer. So what are the advantages of client server over peer-to-peer? -peer? Well, benefits are that there's more control over the network for a start. So gaining that centralized control over the network, who has access and what certain individuals can and cannot do, etc. Second benefit would be that uh, security. We think we could write about security. So with that centralized control, we've got better security. But I'm thinking about storage that can be centralized, meaning less need for large multiple storage devices. So that's going to save cost on buying multiple storage devices. You could also have uh, the security aspect, some more control of the network. You could have hot desking where people can work on different desks because they can access all their files, etc using a client server model there's loads and loads of benefits and this question has been covered in many many uh, papers before so understand that there are two models here there are peer-to-peer -peer and client server peer-to-peer -peer is where two devices just simply two or more devices just simply connected to, together with no server no centralization client server is there is a client and a server and the server provides access to things like printing software, storage, etc. And they are the two types of models that are in question. In this question for four marks, E, which one of these is a method of identifying a computer on the network? Is it HTTP, WEP, FTP or IP? It is of course IP, the IP address, internet protocol address, the unique address that identifies all devices on the network. F, which one of these is a feature of media access control? So it's another way of identifying computer on address is a MAC address, media access control address. That one, is it directs protocols unique, has to be entered in a web browser, encrypts downloads. It is, of course, unique. Like the IP address, it is unique to the device, but unlike the IP address, it is fixed and cannot change. I've done a video on that before, an animation. Please see that. That may help you with that question.
G. Ashan tells Hashini that her smartphone will not be able to use a location as she is not connected to the internet. State why Ashan is wrong. It's wrong because um, GPS is used for this. GPS is used for location, so it doesn't need internet access. GPS is used for the location services. H. Ashan needs to print some documents. Explain two ways an inkjet pr printer performs differently to a laser printer. Now, I'm really looking at the differences. And the first thing is that the inkjet is much slower than the laser. So the inkjet printer sprays ink onto the page as the paper moves downwards. It's much slower than a laser printer. Now, my second point is that the image or text can be lower quality as the ink, wet ink can smudge. Um, as the ink is sprayed onto the paper, there's a possibility that it can smudge because it takes a while for it to get dry, unlike laser printing, which comes out dry. And that is another issue with that. The ink gets smudged, causing the quality to be lower because it's smudged. It's got a blurred edge. Now, it's quite an interesting question, this, because not a lot of people have seen, uh, may have seen an inkjet printer. They've kind of been almost ob obsolete now and been replaced by laser jet. They're still around. You can still buy an inkjet, but lasers are, are probably becoming more common as, as the cost comes down, the cost for ink comes down. But you do need to understand how they work and you need to understand how dot matrix, inkjets and laser printers work and the difference between the two and how they work, and between the three, sorry, and how they work. So that is the answer to that question. That completes question three and that gives me a total of 19 marks. I want to say a big thank you for watching. Please, please, as always, like and subscribe. Up soon. And thanks for watching. Bye-bye.